Tom here from Lauren Systems and Unify has sent me a Unify Switch 16 PoE Lite for review. I get to keep it. So full disclosure up front, and I really do like this switch, not because it was sent to me, but because it answers a question. And that question is, what's a good budget-friendly PoE managed switch for my home? Now, provided you first also like the Unify ecosystem and you're fine with running a separate controller and not logging individually into each device on the network, this is a pretty good answer at an MSRP price of $199. I think this is a perfect scenario and we'll lab this out and I'll leave a timestamp to the lab part at the end where I show a good use case for this particular switch. But there's a lot of home users that just have a couple Wi-Fi devices and need something easy without a handful of injectors. Uh, this is a nice clean setup. Couple warnings though is it does only have a 45 watt power budget. So that is the one thing you get for 199 is only 45 watts as opposed to some of the other ones that can handle more devices. And also all 16 ports here, just to answer that up front, um, are, are gigabit, but are not PoE. Only eight of the 16 are PoE, but that's more than enough because with a 45 watt max power, you're not gonna probably wanna plug in all 16. But uh, before we jump into this review, if you can click the like button and first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. And we'll start right here at the page for Unify where you can buy this direct and they have an MSRP of $199 as of September 21st, 2020. Um, and this, like I said, is pretty reasonable in terms of pricing. Now it does, as I stated, only have a 45 watt power budget. That means cumulatively across the eight PoE ports it has the max wattage is gonna be 45 watts. Managed and configured by the Unify Network Controller. As I stated, you have to use a Unify Controller to control this. It does not have a management page itself, but it is still a fully managed Layer 2 switch. And, you know, Unify is pretty easy to set up. And looking at the simplicity of it, and we'll cover it in a little bit more detail, we only have uh, one port in the back and the 16 ports in the front. There's really not much else. But something I really like that they did here was made it easy to mount. So you don't initially see a mount, but then you have this little device here. And it's clever the way they did this. So this can be done either way. It's just a little, like an edge, essentially, that is going to slip in. So you stick this on the wall. So when you stick this on the wall, it's just going to slide in like this right to the switch. So once you have this mounted, no fiddling with little offset screws or holes, it'll go ahead and mount. Now, getting it out, you have to put a little effort to get it out. It kind of snaps in, but also has these little connectors on there. And yes, it goes in either way. So this is actually a really simplistic way, in my opinion, to mount. It's probably easier if it's got screws in it to pull it back out. Uh, but from a simplicity standpoint, being able to mount this either way, whether you want the ports facing up, ports facing down, um, you just have the one power at the back. And like I said, this is if you want to wall mount it, um, but a lot of home users are just going to maybe have it sitting there. I mean, there's no rack ears, there's no anything else. And as I said, 16 ports in the front, one blue light and one reset button. There is no like USB or um, other ways to connect into this. It's just that, also no SFP. But back to that original use case was home users. Well, I think it works rather well for that. And that's a pretty good scenario. So the next thing I wanted to do, and well, I've covered everything that comes in the box. You get a power cord, this, and some screws. Uh, that's it for the box. I have the box over there. I don't really think much about the box other than it was well packaged and seems quite, you know, well put together. What I do like though is what is in the box and these things and that's all you really need. It doesn't come with any cables other than the power cord, but at least they do give you some wall anchors and a couple of the right size screws because this is countersunk. So don't just try to use your own screws unless they fit into the countersinks of the little wall adapter. But let's uh, turn it on. So that's where it gets more interesting and talk about a lab slash use case scenario for this particular device. All right, for this setup, I have a couple different devices. I have two Nanos, and like I said, we're playing out kind of a home user scenario, and I really think the Nanos are a great device because of the number 
of devices they support is not as much as the HD. That question comes out, should I get an HD or a Nano? If you're a home user, you're probably not gonna have that many devices at your house. So Nanos are perfectly fine. So we'll say there's two of them to cover each area of the house, but then one more because your home office, uh, and I like these in walls. This is one of the in wall units. Now this is both a Wi-Fi device and a four port switch. So this is kind of a cool uh, setup in terms of, you know, or common I should say in some of the home users because maybe your office, you want a couple extra managed ports in there. So we want also dedicated Wi-Fi because as much as you want to saturate the house with Wi-Fi, well, different areas of the house may not have the perfect Wi-Fi. Maybe your office is further away and having the device line of sight to your other devices because you've mounted the wall higher you get the idea and wall's a great choice for that. And of course I put a phone on here too, because if you're working from home, we have a phone on here. So now we've got one, two, three, four PoE devices. And let's take a look at that. So here's the in wall, two UAP nanos and this device right here. So here's our UAP light and we're spending our 15.8 watts of our 45 watt power budget. So you can see that it's got the potential to have the higher power budget, but it's just not likely you're gonna use it. So I've seen this complaint to a lot of people going, well, it's just too underpowered. And I didn't really think that, uh, not for the 199 price tag on it. I'm not saying it is the absolute bare bones cheapest switch available today that has PoE. I'm saying it's a good complement to the Unify lineup where you can have it all in the dashboard here and have a budget friendly switch. So my testing with it, I've been using it for about a week and it hasn't had any issues. Um, and I have things sitting on top of it right now. It really is quiet and not getting too warm. One of the other things about this is it is a fanless design and that being low wattage isn't really a big deal. I would say warm to the touch after I have a handful of devices plugged in for a while on it, but nothing, not hot. So it's something certainly that could sit in your closet. But even if you do have it in the same room as you without any fans and well, any of the devices here, especially this one, you're talking about a really quiet setup as well, which I think is kind of important. And a lot of home users, because they may not have the convenience of having a rack in the closet with you know, thermal control, um, unless you're one of the advanced people uh, that may have something like that even in your house, which is awesome. But the average person, probably the more common uses for this is not going to have that. And if you have a rack, you're probably buying rack mount equipment. But my overall review of it, I like the product. I think it's nice, nice compliment to the Unify uh, lineup and a budget friendly one at that. So it will run all these devices fine. It'll run the phone because it's standard AO2.3 AT PoE plus compliant. So it's compatible with a lot of different devices. So if you have maybe some cameras provided they're not a really high power draw, um, it would work with those as well. So I'll leave links uh, to the Unify site. And if I can find these in Amazon, I'll leave a link to that too. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.